What's up YouTube, Coin Flip back, and today we have two bags, $500 each of dimes that we're gonna go through. These are the customer deposited and basically put into these bags into the vault at my local bank, and we're hoping to get on some silver. Let's get into it. All right, so like I mentioned, this is from my local bank, and basically people are gonna drop these off. This is what they drop off, and hopefully we're gonna get on some silver. Maybe some other uh, varieties or miscellaneous stuff, possibly even some proofs, never know. Anyway, we're gonna get these pushed back, start digging into it. We'll bring you in on that first find. All right, guys, we're a few handfuls in, and you might see it here, but I think we're gonna have a silver. Check that out, that is nice. 1953. S, 53S, let's go, that thing is nice. We'll put it up on the board. Oh, I also found a 2009 Denver, slightly lower mintage, so show you that one as well. Let's keep going. All right guys, it has been a few more handfuls and we got another 2009 Denver. Can I just say, I just want to bring it back for this. This is just unreal to me that this coin was in a bank bag. It is just, the luster on this is unreal. I mean, it's got to be MS. A little bit of chatter on the cheek, but otherwise, man, I just can't get over that. Anyway, that's going to go on a flip. I had those 55s that I found earlier in the year, and those are going to be in flips. I don't have them in the silver jar but I do need to pull them out of my uh, box and put them in there. But anyway, that'll go to flip. All right, guys, I put the uh, camera up top again because it's just kind of hard to hold the camera and do these handfuls, but I'm pretty sure I saw one here that looks like we're gonna have silver. Let me see, is it this one? Had a darker edge to it, but I heard it moving them around and it's going to be in 1957. 57 Denver and it's going up here on the board which obviously is kind of covered up with everything but I don't want to get all my stuff mixed up but our second silver for the hunt we're still on the first bag we're probably a quarter of the way through we'll keep going all right we're on the next handful and I'm pretty sure there it is on a Canadian 2018 so our first Foreign, These things are shiny, man. 2018 Canadian, put that on the board. All right, guys, just pulled another handful and you're gonna see it right here. It's pretty dirty, just like that 57, but it is a 1964 and it is a Denver. 1964 Denver, seen better days, but guess what? It's still silver. That's our third one for the hunt. That little diagonal board over here with we're probably, uh, I don't know, a quarter of the bag left. Kind of had a cold streak there in the middle. But uh, anyway, three silver so far. Looking good. We'll uh, go through the rest of this bag. Hopefully we find something else. If not, we'll catch you on the next one. All right, so I got my next handful here. And I'm pretty sure I have another silver in here. We'll show you in just a sec. But this is kind of what we're left with here. Not much left. But I think we did find another silver. Let's see where it went. Should stand out, there it is. And this is all we're doing is we're edge hunting these and looking for proofs, looking for uh, any low mintage, but you can see it right here on the, towards the end. Haven't seen what year it is or anything. Looks like it's gonna be a rosy, pretty good shape, Denver mint mark. What year is it? Just a 64, lots of those made, but guess what? It's another silver for our board right now. Pretty good shape. And we're getting down to the end of this first bag. So we will bring you in, like I said, if I find anything else. But uh, anyway, that's what we're working on. We'll catch you here on the next one. All right, still getting down to the end here. Pretty close, but it's not gonna go out quietly. We just found another one. Haven't looked at the year on this one either. Looks like a, another rosy. And another 64, 64 Denver. 
second 64 of the hunt and a few more handfuls to go. All right, just a few handfuls later and I thought I heard one stacking them up here and it looks like there's one here on the end. And it looks like this is gonna be another really nice 1953 with nice luster and cartwheel. And I believe that's also a 53S. I think the other one was as well. Yeah, two 53S's, look at these things. Very nice shape. Crazy that they're just sitting in these bags. And again, these are customer drop-offs, so could have came from a bank, any sort of business, or just customer stuff. So anyway, we're trying to get through this bag so we can start on the second bag. We have six silver dimes, two 2009 Denvers, and one Canadian. We'll keep going. All right, well, that's it for the first bag. Not a bad haul at all. One foreign, two 2009 Denvers with lower mintages, two 53 S's. I'll put the mintage on the screen if I haven't already. A 57 Denver, a 64 Denver, and these last two are also 64s, but obviously much nicer condition. So we'll get this bag uh, set aside and bring out the second bag here. Another $500 to search. Let's get into it. All right, we're probably a quarter of the way through the second $500 bag already. Going pretty quick, not much going on here, but uh, just got a foreign it looks like, and not really sure, but it's 2015 Banco Central de Reserva del Peru. Okay. Forgive my awesome uh, Spanish there, but five uh, centimos, and this thing feels like it's aluminum. Extremely light, pretty cool coin otherwise. But anyway, that's our first find. It's a foreign in the second $500 bag. We'll keep going. All right, just a few handfuls later, and it does look like we are gonna find silver in this bag too. Let's see what we get. Looks like another 64, 64 Denver for the board. We'll put it down here for the second bag. We'll keep going. All right, we're probably a little bit past that halfway mark. And I have a handful here and I'm pretty sure there's a silver in here somewhere. Let's see where it went. Maybe, there it is I think. See how dirty my hands are from this stuff, but. All right, it's another Rosie and it's another 64. 64 Denver, second one, second silver of the hunt on this bag. So again, about halfway, not as hot so far, but maybe it'll pick up here at the end. We'll keep moving, see what we get. All right, just a few uh, handfuls later and we're gonna have our next silver, there it is. Knew I heard it in there. And it looks like this one's gonna be another 64. And this one's a Philly, no mint mark on that one. Third 64 of this bag. Like I said, we're starting to get down there towards the end. Don't see any others in there. So we'll continue going through all these for you and we'll bring you in on that next one. All right, just a few handfuls later and we have another silver. Another 64, looks like, and it's another Denver. So we'll take it. Starting to get down here to the bottom. I'd say we have probably a quarter of the bag left. And as I mentioned before, these are $500 bags. So anyway, we'll keep moving. Hopefully we can get on some more silver before the end of the bag. All right, well, that's going to wrap up this bag and this hunt. $1,000 two bag dime hunt first bag was really good with one foreign canadian 2018 two 2009 denvers 253 s's a 57 denver and 364 denvers so really good first bag really happy with that total of uh 246 silvers second bag had the uh, peru five centimos which like i said i think is aluminum we did pick up two more Canadians, a 77 and a 2005. 
We also picked up four more silver dimes, 1964. All of them Denver, one of them, uh, except for one being a Philly. But 10 dimes, $1 face in silver, going in our silver jar here. Pretty happy with that. We're gonna put these dimes in. I'm gonna put these in flips. They're just really nice. Uh, I'm sorry, these ones are gonna go in the 64s. These 253 S's, however, I'm gonna put these in flips. And one other mention, I do have some more silver to put in. I have five 40 percenters to put in the jar. Found these in customer wrapped rolls with my son. Honestly, um, basically it was the, kind of the same situation where same bank, different branch. And I honestly thought these would, would have been searched, these rolls. But anyway, I got their uh, half dollars, went through them quick with my son. And we found five 40 percenters. So we're going to go ahead and put those in the silver jar also so we can get this thing filled up. Like I said, we'll get these 53 S's and flips. And we'll put those 55's that we found in there um, back in the jar on a previous hunt as well. So anyway, uh, hopefully we'll get some half dollars this week and have some more half dollar hunts for you. Those have been tough for us lately, either getting skunk boxes or minimal finds, not enough content to make a whole video. Or if we've even gotten boxes at all, they've been tough to get from our bank. So anyway, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. If you're still here, I do appreciate it as always. And we will catch you on the next one. Coin flip out.